How's it going, everybody? My name is Avery, and I wanted to show off this program that I've been, this uh, library that I've been using for some of my projects on the side recently. It's called Raylib, and as it states right here, Raylib is a simple and easy to use library for enjo to enjoy video game programming. It's uh, basically just like a game engine or a game library. It has all the features you can need. Uh, this is probably, I, I think, for outside of like a GUI game engine, like it's just a, a library that has all the functions and everything that you can call in. It basically has everything you'd ever need or want. It works on practically every system out there, including the web, and it has bindings for basically every language out there. By default, to the everything is made in C++, but they have everything. They have some extra libraries, um, some GL stuff, some math, audio, and uh, along with a few other things. But even by default, they can do a lot of this stuff. They have some physics. It's not their own physics. It's using a different library, except for there's no dependencies. So if you were to install it, yeah, as you can see, there's no dependencies. If you were to install it, it brings in everything that you need. And you can go and get it from itch.io. It's free to get. Or you can go and check out the other bindings in the other languages. Here's Go. I've been using it in C++ and Go for just testing and learning about it and uh, testing it out, I guess. There's a lot of examples. There's a sheet sheet, and this is the C++ example, but it has uh, basically a lot of the functions. It has um, categories for what functions are for. Um, makes it pretty easy to quickly look something up. The examples. I guess we look at the games first. The games, it has a lot of the games. If you were to go and download it, it has this Arkanoid, this Brick Breaker clone. It has snakes and along with a few other things. But I think all these other games are downloaded separately. And the examples, most of the examples are going to be in it as well. Um, there's even some core stuff. There's some shader stuff. There's 3D modeling. Um, and this is all going to be in it. As you can even see, it supports like uh, VR stuff. It supports split screen stuff. So I went ahead and I have this downloaded already. We can check it out right here. I guess we'll go into the examples and I can just run a few of them just to show them off. Uh, 3D camera. So it's a 3D and a 2D stuff. Uh, 2D is probably the best features, but there's a lot of 3D um, as well that I guess are still being worked on. It has its own camera system already. It has a first person stuff as you can see this one looks pretty smooth but they have some other first person options um for example if we were to i believe there's like a mm, there's a different thing with a first person stuff but it has like a little wobble effect when you walk and it's part of the option like it's one of the default things you can choose um i don't see it right off the bat but if you can go oh here it is actually um, you can go and actually just test out a lot of these. They're kind of fun to mess around with. And there's so many examples. I mean, it, there's an insane amount of examples. So for anything you ever want to learn, you can just go ahead and all the code's there. Uh, for most of the examples, it's just a single file. So you can go and just check out the file. Um, and then they usually have like some images or some objects that go with the file as well. Um, and it's really easy to learn. Just piggyback off of those and try to change things and play around with them. But as you can see, this is the wobbling I was talking about. Uh, so they have a lot of stuff from 3D, uh, 2D stuff, some shading stuff. Um, and you can basically just see how everything works. It's all fairly easy to figure out. I think, like I mentioned, the physics is using another physics program. That's going to say right here, Physac, powered by Physac. Um, it's 2D physics stuff. There's some example for some 3D stuff, but I don't think that's powered by any sort of engine. I think it's just some of their own default things. Uh, just like collision and whatnot. And along with that, they have shader support. So we can check out some of these shaders. Um, so I guess just one, we can do this one right here, the fog. And as you can see, it has all these 3D objects and some fog in the background. But uh. You know, I just thought that was a really cool pro uh, library and project, I guess. It has everything you would need. I I usually use SDL2 for everything, but I think I'm going to use this to try out some stuff. Um, I really like the 3D aspect that it does a lot of things. 
It even has some tutorials for ray marching and whatnot. Some of the 3D stuff doesn't look super great, some it does. So I th if you still don't know all about 3D, you still need to uh, kind of learn a little bit more about it, learn more about, I guess, shaders and whatnot to make it so everything looks pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so this is all of that. Uh, the Go, it's pretty easy to set up as well. Just install it as basically all the same examples. Um, and as an example for just creating a window. Along with that, I have my own little thing that I put together just to try out some of the features. Um, I call it files. I don't think I'm even using all these, but um, we can just run it on the game. And as you can see, this is like I have a small grid. Uh, then I have this 2D platform. Uh, nothing falls. I would test on the collision. It's really, it's like box collision, so like the sphere is not perfect. But as you can see, every time I'm touching one of these two things, the green one turns red. Uh, the camera stuff is kind of something I just set up, so it's not, it's mostly smooth. I have it set up for like a single controller. I'll make it work a little better with two controllers. Um, I also showcase, this is just a car that I download online, but I showcase a different demo similar to this using a different library called Tiny Engine. That's a C++ library. It's uh, just being made by one guy. You can check out that video as well in case you're interested. But here we can pull up some of the code for this as well. Um, it's in this file. So as you can see, this is the get, this is the Go code, but I have the importing it. Um, then that's just some of the car stuff. In the main, I creating the window with the screen height and the width and the title, and then I'm creating a camera, and then there's some. I guess like vector stuff for stating where the camera should be. Um, and then there's the player position, which is the car. Uh, I load in some objects as well. I load in the shader stuff, which is just this VS and FS file for the vector and um, fragment shader. And then this is like kind of the main loop. I set the that to 60 frames per second. But this is the main loop sort of. It's just when the window sh should not close, it keeps continuing. So I have a check for all the keyboard input. I'm just RL is key down. And then I have some collision stuff. So I guess I, I said it was box collision, but I, I guess I forgot there was a sphere collision. I, I made this a little bit while ago. And then have the begin rendering. And then I render in everything. And then I have uh, the end rendering. Um, that's basically it. You just unload the textures and model and stuff to close out everything for freeing memory and whatnot. It's all fairly simple to use. Like I said, there's tons of examples. Just go through and look through all of them. Uh, figure out something that has, uh, I guess, features that are interested for your own game. And just, uh, just learn about it and take it from there. And mix and match and put things together until you learn more about it. And if you guys are interested, I'll probably make some tutorials in the future showing how to make a game. Um, probably in 2D and then also a game in 3D using this library. Uh, there's a few other videos showing it casing some stuff, but there's not that many. So if you guys are interested in that, leave a like. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and see you guys again next time. Bye.